Hi guys, it's Andre from Convey of Randomness here, and today I'll be looking at this. The paper-like screen protector for the iPad. First of all, I'll let you into a little secret. If anyone saw one of my latest tweets, at Random Convey, if you're not already subscribed, you'll know that I accidentally cracked the screen on my iPhone 11 and had to make the trip to the Apple Store to get it repaired and I was a bit worried that it may happen again so I purchased another case for my phone and for the iPad a screen protector. I only needed the screen protector as the iPad was already in a case. It doesn't ever really leave the house. I wanted to try a screen protector that not only protected the screen but also complemented my use of the Apple Pencil on the iPad. I'd heard a lot about Paperlike and wanted to see for myself its qualities which as well as screen protection gives the iPad a reduced reflective surface and its main attraction offers an enhanced Apple Pencil experience, generations one and two, depending which iPad you've got. And it does this by emulating the feel of paper when you're writing or drawing on the now matte coated iPad surface, instead of the hard unappealing writing experience that you can get by writing directly onto the glass of the iPad or with any other screen protectors. You're able to purchase the Paperlite screen protectors for any size iPad and I'll leave the Amazon and Paperlite website links in the description below. Right, let's go and open the Paperlite package. I'll show you what you get in the package and the procedure of how to apply it to your iPad. So that was the unpacking and very quick installation of the paper like. I'll leave a link up there for the much slower version of that installation clip where I'll talk step by step about installing the paper like to your iPad. As you can see on the installation, I didn't do the best job as there's still a few bubbles left on the screen, but I had another go with the second sheet in the package. Took my time and now I'm very happy with the result. So anyone trying to keep up with an installation video, just pause it when you need to, make sure it's centered on the iPad, and most importantly, take your time. Making sure it's centered on the iPad is vital. As you'll notice, if you have a case on your iPad, the edges of the case, which sort of reach round to touch the extremities of the iPad screen, can tend to lift up the edges of the paper look, particularly if it's too close to the edge of the screen. The precise cutouts for the front facing camera and the home button mean you're not going to be compromised when you're taking a picture or returning to the home screen. So what's it like to write on? Compared to writing on a bare screen, it feels miles apart. The paper like makes the screen feel like a Kindle with its matte finish, giving you a paper like experience and the sound of writing on the screen almost replicates writing on a piece of paper.
As you can see if we compare both the before and after shots, the glare of the iPad is significantly reduced thanks to those nanodots, which means you'll be in a much better place to take your iPad outside on a sunny day and not have to manoeuvre every time the sun reflects off into your face. You certainly feel in more control of your writing gestures and pressures that you apply, which I didn't notice so much prior to putting the paper like on. Creative apps such as Procreate are certainly going to benefit from more precise actions. It will be interesting to compare the writing experience of other more cheaper matte screen protectors to this paper like just to see if they can match or even better the writing experience. As the general experience of writing on glass doesn't seem to have much improved since the onset of tablets and with smartphones that you're actively encouraged to write on with a stylus like the S Pen, it would be nice if the next evolutionary stage of device screens, especially on tablets, if we see them actively evolving to improve the straight out of the box writing or drawing experience. But by improving this, they've still got to make sure it doesn't affect their most important priorities, the strength of the glass screen and the ability not to compromise any below screen features such as a fingerprint sensor or a front facing camera. But we've seen manufacturers like Samsung and OnePlus who include pre-installed screen protectors to their phones. So that's the paper like. It certainly does what it preaches and I'm a lot more impressed with it than I thought I'd be. And for the price compared to other matte screen protectors, it should be expected. It's not exactly the same as writing on a piece of paper, but it's so close. It would be nice to see paper like on other brand tablets like the Galaxy Tab. Is it for everyone who has an iPad? Definitely not. But if you use your Apple Pencil a lot to create amazing drawings, technical masterpieces, making notes during your college lectures, whether you're professional or not, then a matte screen protector like the Paperlite could be for you. Plus, anything that's going to protect your screen from fall damage and reduce the number of fingerprints on the screen is definitely a benefit. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to the channel, it'd be greatly appreciated, and press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. That's all for me today, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.